Hello fans, viewers and subscribers, this is Stormy with the capital Z bringing to you a very special dual commentary along with my friend Deport. What's up, it is Deport from Deport Gaming and uh, I thought I'd start off with Warcraft 3 commentaries again and uh, why not do one with Mr. Storm the capital Z. So we have Freedom as the dark green or player spawning at the bottom uh, bottom right position against Lost Love, the yellow idol player spawning at the top right and... So we the, we have the the both of the players going for a standard standard opening over here, and uh, the Night Elf is going for that standard Ancient War on this map. This map is just so um so used to getting that Ancient War right next to the trees, and it's a pretty pretty easy Ancient War creep. And we're gonna he we're gonna be hearing a little rally spams just because there aren't any referees in the game, but that's not really a big issue. The, and uh, the old player not opting to drop a barracks yet. By dropping Voodoo Lounge, yes, dropping the Voodoo Lounge before the barracks to just to get the Work item uh, there. We do have a Blade Master coming out and the standard Demon Hunter counter by the Night Elf. And I uh, got a Night Elf uh, with Scout, and uh, this map is known for its uh, creep, um, creeping basically. This map is a huge creep map. Yeah, it's a, it's a very compact small map, but the creeps are just uh, huge in number. You can creep anywhere at all. If you're like standing and you like see, hey, there's some creep, you can go there and creep around a little. And the thing about this, the creeps for the most part are pretty easy to kill. I mean, there's only a few spots that uh, you may need a big army like the uh, uh, granite golems. Those are the only things I think you really need, uh, you know, a big army to take down. Yeah, the creeps are very, very big, small, and... You can take them out very, very easily just to get the uh, just to get the item that is, and we're gonna see where we can expect a lot of uh, just solo creeping from the orc player. The idol player has started creeping at the camp over here. A lightning shield there has to be careful not to take out the creeps using the shield there because he won't be getting any experience from that. And the blade master did sell his uh, TP and picked up a speed scroll to get over to uh, harass that uh, ancient war. It's pretty interesting to see if he's be able to get there in time. I think he will be. Um, no, I don't think he will actually. Just missed well, it. Well, he'll be able to harass the idol player at the second uh, second position here, and he actually going on the wrist there. Wrist go went down where. And he uh, went walk right away. So um, basically, basically telling the knight off to back off, or he's gonna get a creep check. Well, that's just what the knight player is doing right now, and actually going for a few more wrist there. Surprising to see the wrist didn't detonate. Yeah, that was a little bit lackadaisical by the uh, Night Elf. He probably should have had that detonate. It was a pretty easy detonate, too. Actually, going to be taking away the uh, cre creep over there to get along with the item. You got the tech started by the orc and uh, sending a grunt and uh, making another grunt. So, uh, trying to get uh, just a few grunts, but also uh, using that a uh, standard tech. Well, and this is just what uh, Deport just said a while ago. These creeps are so weak that you can take them out only with one hero at some point. The orc is just trying to keep an eye on the night elf, making sure he's not uh, getting too high up of Demon Hunter. But Demon Hunter did get a pretty good item on uh, Glove Base. Okay, the night player is taking up and try getting the base block there with the Moon Wells. Getting the actual war at the middle. There. And uh, we got the uh, orc just creeping the, you know, another easy, easy creep camp, and the night elf doing the same, uh, mirroring his spot. Um, nothing too much to say. I mean, they're just doing standard night of standard uh, orc, and um, I mean, uh, kind of interesting burrow placements, but that's pretty standard. I mean, it could happen a little bit better, I guess. I'm not sure. Well, night of is actually getting inside the orc player's base and actually just dropping away the wisp on uh, the back side of the gold mine. Yeah, pretty far in the base. I don't think the orc actually recognized it. Yeah, if he did, he would have sent off the uh, peon there to pick it off. So we have the orc uh, selling one of the items, I forget what item he sold, but he picked up a circlet and uh, most likely when he gets enough gold, um, he's going to pick up a um, boost speed. This is the first night of the game I believe and boost speed was online, night of player wanted, orc player didn't, surprisingly. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, if, I think he had enough gold, but I'm not sure why he just didn't, maybe he just didn't real, uh, think he needed it right away. Well, he might, might have. Uh, oh, he got another circle in there, and that's actually gonna be a really, really helpful for him there. We got the Demon Hunter coming in with a boost of speed, so we will have the additional speed to uh, do some harassing. Demon Hunter also. Ooh, going for surround. Oh, nice surround, but it uh, failed there for a second, and Demon Hunter gonna be harassing a little there, taking off the banner, and now Demon Hunter has, actually has a very, very good set of items. 
Yeah, he's a really good set of items to do some harassing and uh, pretty strong. I mean, especially with those boots of speed, he won't be able to take too much damage unless he gets surrounded. And now the orc player will be turtling a little at the base and actually getting a TC, Torrent Chieftain, from the orc player. That's the old standard, uh, but uh, ever since uh, World, uh, World Cyber Games, after Grubby did that Shadow Hunter, you've been seeing a lot of Shadow Hunter lately. Yeah, Shadow Hunter w was working very, very well. Uh, from comparing to the comparing to this uh, Torrent Chieftain, the, the thing is that the damage that Torrent Chieftain can land is not equivalent to what the Shadow Hunter can do. The only thing the Shadow Hunter will go at will be healing away the units and uh, focusing down the hero with the hex. Yeah, you know, pretty interesting what the Night Oath did. He actually uh, just going straight uh, T3, and uh, now he's starting to put down Ancient Winds. I was about to mention that, and I'm now pushing the, I'm putting down the Ancient of Wind, and actually using a Goblin Shredder for some uh, lumberjacking there. So he absolutely has no units except for his Demon Hunter right now. Ah, that is a funny thing, and he's actually heavily harassing him. And after seeing the TC, he would be actually like, oh, this is awesome, no one will be hexing me now. Yeah, it's, it's gonna. It's it's looking oh, really nice wait, for that. Wait, wait, right wait a second. Now. Wait a second. Uh, VC Endurance Aura online, and the thing is that people forget this. Endurance Aura is almost as good as Unholy Aura. That is the DK under DK's uh, aura. Mhm. Mm so I'm trying to get some just uh, TC to level up, and uh, just trying to fend off the Steam Hunter. And actually, the Demon Hunter did a good job of pulling away the BM from the away from the uh, from that aura there. But at the at the same point, the, his his hero is also getting a low hit points. Here comes an archer and a keeper of the, keeper of the group. Keeper of the group entangling away the BM. BM might go down already. Um, oh, nice! Oh, nice there. stab. Nice stab there. Pretty nice he, play. Yeah, that was a nice play by both players. Yeah. <laughs> it was really, really unpredictable to you know, uh, to say which hero might have gone down there because both of the armies had engaged at that right time and uh, the escape happened right there. Yeah, and we have the Demon Hunter coming instantly back in. That's so fast, and I uh, could get the same harassment down. I don't down. think I don't think the keeper of the group should be fronting away the army because he can get easily ensnared and surrounded. Yeah, ensnared about to be researched. Give it uh, you know another ten seconds, and it should be up. It's gonna be a hassle for the night elf, and it's gonna be a really, really bad. Po uh, night elf player will be in a very, very bad position just as that there is up because the uh, orc player is orc army that is, is looking look good, but actually turning it's direction and going for creeping. But that's go not gonna be work. That's not gonna work because the night elf player is gonna be returning right towards the orc player. And he does have ensnare. It was upgraded, so uh, he will be able to pick off uh, the night elf units if he allows him to. Well, Idle Player actually opting to trade uh, Talons at a base and uh, station them there and like just harass the Orc player as long as he can. I don't think this will be a very viable option because the, or the Orc player will be having a lot more units right uh, in a while. But the thing is that the because the Orc player went for the TC, he doesn't have the Hex which actually is very very uh, good in taking care of the heroes. Yeah, he lost a lot of map control with uh, with uh, going for TC instead oh, of. Oh, uh, here come the ends there, ends there over the group uh, of the group, and keep the group is very very weak there. Uh, he a staff he exchange. Oh, he he did exchange the staff, but he couldn't use it on time, and that actually was a big fail there. Uh, keeper of the Gold did die and the demon hunter now running away We're might be forced time. to use the TP there because he doesn't have anything else to do It's there by the creeps and will be picked yeah. off easily if he doesn't use the TP there He's gonna have to force TP right now and uh, I mean, I'm not sure why, why would Whoa, you want- and escape, and escape, and he actually managed to escape This is miracle, miracle, miraculous, but the raider Raiders following is- That ensnared raider. though I gotta get one more ensnare on him. Might get it, Raiders might get it. Oh, oh, he he actually oh, missed that it. animation. That animation did play, but he didn't. The he didn't throw up the ensnare thing. Yeah, I think it was fog of war, maybe. I believe. And now, yo, Night is using Moonstone uh, just to get the mana back on the moon moon wells there. And the Orc player, well, going back, not opting to fight there. And he has a uh, cyclone, so it's gonna be pretty dangerous for the orc to uh, do anything near the narrow face. He does have cyclone, but the, at the same time, he doesn't have enough number of talons. But the thing is that you can actually make a mass number of talons uh, easily because they they trade up very very fast. Yeah, the orc is definitely not ready for a fight. He doesn't even have a uh, TC level three yet for that uh, shockwave. And uh, that's why he's not even uh, going anywhere near the night elf. I think it's gonna be very interesting to see what he picks up. Did he pick up Shockwave or did he pick up Warstorm? Actually, both of the spells are good enough, and actually, Shockwave would work better just because uh, the these units can cycle on you away anytime. And oh my, that's just an illusion was carrying away the Dino Bear. 
and you can just see uh, the, how scared the dial player might be if it was a real thing that is yeah so we got the uh, orc actually pick, picking in uh, picking up some good items he picked up a uh, potion of lesser and oh, a I see, I see I see a goblet sapper goblet sapper goblet sapper heading inside he might go for a oh base burst taking out that uh etch of wonders i believe yes etch of wonders yes yeah, so he did the torn chief did pick up shockwaves probably most likely just gonna kill that one moomo and get out of there he's gonna lose one uh one uh raider though well it's it's worth it because he did uh manage to supply block he did he supply block i believe he did yes he did he supply blocked uh, away the dial player and that will be helping him for a while he also did take down the shop so he won't be able to uh, buy anything from the shop for uh, quite some time yeah, shop is uh, coming online as well, but his production will be uh, will be uh, stopped for for the, uh, for the time being. While the old player will be ch actually shifting away his items there. He actually did some item sorting and now going for mercenaries, I believe. Our warriors yeah, and, uh, the torn chieftain does have that Sobi mask or Sabi mask, which is just so deadly with that torn chieftain regenerating mana. Um, oh, so quickly. yeah, yeah, Sabi mask is really, really great for regenerating mana. It gives like 50% plus to your uh, current mana regeneration. Yeah, it's gonna be so deadly if uh, this game goes late game. Okay, now the battle player is going for more creeping. Uh, it might be useful to get the level 3 entangling uh, entangle, uh, route there. Actually, that will have got two sentry wards and getting the hero, getting the third hero, that is the Tigger. Tigger getting attacked by the. No, oh, that was a Tigger, that was the Food of Talon. And, and, and a battle will be coming right here. And he did use a. Uh... Did use a um, the, the images on the torn chiefs and uh, just basically you know buy him some more, more time so the game hunter can uh, choose out uh, which one to mana burn. Which one to mana burn and that actually is forcing the away the uh, dealer to TP back to the base because the dial player can just pick uh, the talent love very uh, well. He was out of position as well and actually dealer are also using the illusion. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so uh, but he did focus blade master. Blade master was able to survive with that potion. It's uh, really helpful in uh, all those battles. Uh, that right, a uh, solo creeping along with uh, not solo. Oh wait, I thought the blade master was running. Oh, oh, that's those are illusions. I thought when I saw those uh, hero signs on the map, I thought that blade master was uh, scouting around and left the TC for creeping just to gain the experience for a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Maybe, maybe. I mean, usually you see orcs just creeping, solo creeping with that. Uh, after you get that blade master up to level three, you really don't need to. Uh, Get him level up. You just want to level him up in battle. It's not really a uh, creep, creep him up. Yeah, you don't really need that. But right now, that's they're going for the. Uh, I believe this is that orange cap. Yeah, and uh, we do the keeper camp. picking up a level three, so he's gonna get a uh, entangle up to uh, level two. And oh my, that's actually got a very very good item there. Scourge bone chimes, and that thing is gonna be helping him re uh, regenerate the mana very very well, along with each hit there. Yeah, it's gonna help the Deem Hunter, but it's really not gonna do too much to the rest of his army. Maybe a little bit the Tinker, but uh, that's really not gonna help too much, except for his Deem Hunter, which is of course always good. Uh, yeah, he sold. Oh, sold it off. Yeah. Actually, body uh, Stroll of Healing as well. Did he buy a Stroll of Protection? No, this is. Yeah, Stroll most of likely we're gonna see him going for a fight pretty soon. He did pick up a Fair Dragon just so. Uh, wait. Yeah, the Orc did pick up some Spirit Walkers. I was expecting those. And Orphan actually went towards the expansion location of the Rattle Player just to see, just to see if he uh, expanded or actually going for creeping there. He has to be careful or Rattle Player might put him out of position there. And I think the Orc is going to come in. He does have his peons here, so yeah, he is going to come in. Yeah, this uh, attack might just be committed. Orc Player heading right inside the Rattle Player. Rattle Player is actually caught uh, between those rocks there. Those rocks might uh, are separating away the Rattle RB. Yeah, it's a really good position for um, the Nautilus right now. I mean. He is taking uh, some shockwaves from the t uh, torn chief, but he also does have that uh, scroll healing, which is just so um, helpful. So TC actually lost a lot of mana there, and actually I don't think. Oh, uh, what's the mana you need for shockwave? Oh, there goes. You need uh, like uh, 75, I believe. Yeah, the uh, night elf army is taking a lot of damage, but uh, it is doing a lot of work on this orc army. Well, thing is the only thing that is, she's actually helping him cyclone. So he's a cyclone, uh, cyclone away the heroes and just picking off the units one by one. Yeah, his Demon Hunter is doing a lot of damage, but the Night Elf did lose a lot of units, but uh, I mean the uh, Night Elf heroes, if they're able to stay alive, he will be able uh, to look in better shape than the Orcs. The Orcs, it, it costs so much uh, more money uh, to uh, gold 
some good carries army than the United does. And oh, now 9342 is the TP oh, that is the shaft or oh, the Tinker Tinker uh, at the back of the base. And now Deviator being focused out. Deviator backed out a little. Uh, Blade must be getting a low hit point. He, he away. has enough mana for uh, Entangled. Oh, there we go. TC and Tangled there. TC is like Tangled. And TC is out of mana as well. And oh, bo all of the heroes are at very, very low hit point. Team Punch is going to pop in. There goes Playmaster. Torn Chief is going to go down with Entangled. It's going to look like pretty much tells us the results of the game. And GG goes out from Freedom. Good game, well played by both players. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Any last words, Deport? Um, just want to thank you for allowing me to commentate with you. It was a pleasure. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it. And anyways, if he deport my its, uh, thinking of continuing his commentaries, you might just want to go head off to his channel and check out his commentaries as well. I'll probably be right, annotating it somewhere here. Anyways, that is pretty much about it. Uh, Z out.